As promised, here is Ariel now. So, Ariel, Conor McGregor told you he wanted a war with Dustin Poirier, but he got more than he could handle from him. Was it rust? I mean, it was a year-long layoff for McGregor, or was Poirier just more ready for him? Well, I know Conor talked about the inactivity and the rust, but to be honest, I'm happy that he gave Dustin Poirier his due because I think if we focus on that, it's not giving Dustin Poirier his due. He had a phenomenal game plan. He took him down early. He clinched with him. Dustin Poirier is a tremendous fighter, and it really bothered me when this fight was first announced that I had a lot of people come up to me and say, why are they rematching? He beat him in less than two minutes six years ago. What's the point? Dustin Poirier was not getting enough respect, and he proved to a lot of people that he is the man, and oh, by the way, he should be fighting for a belt next. I don't care if it's interim or vacant, and if Khabib is done, it should be for the vacant title because that man earned a title shot tonight. Meanwhile, Conor McGregor, I mean, he's the meal ticket. He's the biggest star in UFC. How do you expect him to regroup now? I think he's going to fight again this year. I think he might even fight two more times this year. Look, uh, in, in mixed martial arts, losses don't mean as much as they do in boxing. When you lose like this in boxing, people say, oh, you're done, you're done. Some of the best fighters in UFC history have double-digit losses. Does this hurt his, his, his drawing power? Absolutely. Is it a blow? Absolutely. Does it probably put those dreams of fighting Manny Pacquiao on ice? Absolutely. But you know what? Here's what he should do. In 2016, he lost to Nathan Diaz, and everyone said he was done. He came back five months later, and he beat Nathan Diaz. This is the perfect time to do the trilogy fight with Nathan Diaz. Dust yourself off. Meet your old foe. He's coming off a loss, Diaz is. Now McGregor's coming off a loss. Let's do it at 155. The winner gets his career back on track. Meanwhile, lightweight champion Habib Nurmagomedov, you referenced him earlier. He says he's retired. How much do you think this result tonight may make him reconsider? I don't think it makes him reconsider at all. Honestly, I think if McGregor won tonight, he wasn't reconsidering. The guy wants to take a break. He told us his father passed away. His mother asked him to stop. Look, I'm a mama's boy. I listen to my mom. Khabib's a mama's boy. He listens to his mom. Let's leave the guy alone. Let him vacate the title. Have Dustin fight either Michael Chandler, who pulled off a great promo there. I mean, it was shades of 1992 Ric Flair Royal Rumble. I mean, it was fantastic stuff. He got people excited. Either do that fight or do Dustin Poirier versus Charles Oliveira. Make one of those two fights for the belt perfect. And then if Khabib wants to come back in 2022 or 2023, which I think he will eventually to try to go to 30 0, perfect. Do that. But for now, leave the guy alone. Give Dustin Poirier his title fight against either one of those guys and make McGregor versus DS3. I just, I just did all the UFC's work right here now. No, oh, by the way, the Bills are winning for night. I just wanted to let you know that's a spoiler. That's a spoiler for you guys. Ariel Hawani, analyst and matchmaker. He does it all. We appreciate it, my man. All right, uh, Habib Nurmagomedov tweeting, uh, this is what happened when you change your team, leave the sparring partners who made you a champion and sparring with little kids far away from reality. So he's watching and he's talking, but Ariel says he won't be back for a while. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.